Microsoft Azure has recently introduced new pricing tiers for API management. They are basic V2 and standard V2 and both of these are in preview as of this video. In this video, we will look at standard V2 preview, where it will sit, how it is different from existing standard and premium tiers and what problems it will solve. Hi, this is Shri. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I do blogging and make videos on .NET and Azure. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and help me grow this channel. Let's start now. The standard V2 preview comes with several notable advancements, particularly in terms of deployment speed and scalability. A key feature is its virtual network integration. Previously, VNet integration was exclusive to premium tier, which was significantly more expensive than standard tier. This development makes VNet integration more accessible and cost effective, particularly for users who could not opt premium tier due to its pricing. However, the VNet integration in standard V2 is different from the VNet integration in premium tier. Let's understand the basic differences between standard V2 and premium tier in terms of VNet integration. In the premium tier VNet integration, the APIM itself will be deployed inside VNet. This also often referred as VNet injection. It supports fully private integration with virtual network. Whereas in standard V2, the virtual network is integrated for outbound request only. The API management itself is not deployed in virtual network. This is in a way similar to VNet integration in an app service plan. That being said, API management is still publicly accessible. Let's look at the use cases to understand this better. Can we mimic this as premium VNet external mode? The short answer is yes. Standard V2 allows you to integrate with a virtual network which can be privately isolated VNet. This integration opens up a range of possibilities for backend connectivity. If your VNet is linked to on-premises systems through an express route or VPN, standard V2 can securely access on-premises backend systems. While the gateway and other endpoints in standard V2 remain publicly accessible, you can enhance security significantly by fronting them with an application gateway. The integration with application gateway allows you for the activation of web application firewall. This addition provides an extra layer of security safeguarding your applications against vulnerabilities and attacks. By leveraging these features, Standard V2 not only mimics capabilities of premium tiers VNet external mode, but also provides cost-effective and secure solution for a wide range of application scenarios. Now, let's look at if we can achieve VNet internal mode. As we discussed, Standard V2's gateway has the capability to connect to network isolated backend services. This includes the ability to reach on-premises backends. Coming to inbound traffic, by default, the APIM gateway in standard V2 is publicly accessible. But in internal mode, we need this to be restricted to a trusted network. How do we do this? You can simply establish a private endpoint for the APIM gateway. This endpoint is then placed within a VNet, effectively ensuring that only traffic originating from this specific VNet can access the APIM gateway. Let's quickly look at the demo. I have already created Azure API Management Gateway, which is in fact an APIM gateway. And also I have created a virtual network, which is APIM-VNet. Under this virtual network, I have also created a subnet. And this subnet needs to be delegated to microsoft.web slash server farms to be able to accept the traffic from the backend services. If I go back to the APM resource group and if I go back to our APM gateway, you can look at the tier here. It is standard V2. Now, if I go to the virtual networks, you can see something similar to what we usually see in app service plan network settings. 
you can configure the outbound traffic to be routed via a specific vnet here in this configuration i have routed the traffic via the subnet which was delegated to microsoft.web slash server farms now if this subnet is connected to any other isolated uh, virtual networks or your on-premises then apm gateway can reach to those private backends and an important point to be noted here is it comes with certain limitation as of this video we cannot migrate existing apim instances to new standard v2 tier it is not supported in all of the regions it is supported in only certain region and some of the capabilities are not available yet but they are planned for later releases and interestingly microsoft is also planning for premium v2 service but we do not have more details on this one yet that is it for this video if you like the content please subscribe to my youtube channel i will catch you in the next one until then this is shri signing off thank you